Growing up, I always felt like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, constantly praying and hoping for a different world than the one that I was born into. Then, two months ago, my prayers were answered, but like Dorothy in a very backwards and disturbing way. The COVID-19 pandemic has left us living in a world of uncertainty. For people with disabilities, there's an even greater concern, one that involves ethics and morals and decides the value of a life. Healthcare providers across the U.S. are faced with ethical and moral dilemmas as resources become scarce. Unfortunately, people with disabilities often fall to the bottom of the list because of policies that prioritize prognosis but don't have safeguards for people with disabilities. Like many people with pre-existing conditions, I'm afraid to leave my house. Because should I become sick, I'm haunted with the fact that my life won't be prioritized. Tough decisions will need to be made during these times, but they need to be made based on strictly followed, inclusively formed guidelines. Disability is not and should not be a criterion for giving or taking away medical care or treatment. If we could just click our heels three times and bring life back to the way that it was, we would. But until fantasy becomes a reality, we need to start working together towards saving as many lives as we can and stop devaluing the lives of people with disabilities.